question as I back out dangerously looking at the camera um, the question is this god it is so hot uh. all right so I pulled one of the questions from the topic list that you guys have um, that I have that you guys created so the question you guys asked was is fasting still something Christians should do why would it not be I guess if you're like I guess if if you're like an average Christian regardless of denomination if you go to church and you believe what the pastor says and you read the Bible and whatever interpretation you choose of the millions of them you're cool with it and you think it's true and all that stuff like if I would call you a Christian if you you know like a, a normal Christian if you fit that any of those categories if that is you why would you ask that that's the first thing I thought when I read that question. Like, what, for what reason would you not fast? Oh, I love those old, like, 70s beamers. Um, why would you not? I guess, like, I'd be curious to understand where that question comes from. Because um, if you read the Old Testament, the New Testament, if you go to church, um, you go to seminary, like, I've never been around Christians in any sort of different institution or read different you know scholarly works or just books or the bible or whatever i've never um i've never wondered like hmm is fasting still supported in the christian life now i don't say that to be like rude or anything i just i honestly am curious why you would ask that question i have my own thoughts on that but it's because i don't really fit in like the categories that i just said about christianity uh, I'm like on the outskirts somewhere because I don't agree with a lot of stuff, but but I still believe fasting is an amazing thing. I still believe it's something that should be like paramount and should be a staple in a Christian's life. It's something that we should definitely be doing. Um, so all I'm going to do is like, I'll, I'll say this much. If you are what I call the normal Christian, that verbiage may piss you off, but just get over it. You, you know what I'm talking about. If you're a normal Christian, the Bible is super clear that fasting is important. The Old Testament was important. The New Testament was important. It's a way for you to like really, really dig in and get closer to God by denying yourself something. It's it's a way of sort of like elevating spirituality or like your spiritual understanding because you're, like I said, you're, you're depriving yourself of something you need to survive. So even on like kind of like a weird level that I think of it is you're deprived. It's deprivation of something you need to live. God, you will only get closer to in a literal sort of way, the closer you get to dying. So in like some sick metaphysical way, you're kind of getting closer to God. Do you get what I'm saying? So I think it's important. Um, I think it's, I think it provides us something that nothing else really can. It's, it's a different experience. It's a different sort of environment that you put yourself in spiritually and kind of physically because you're in a deprivation process. But the question that other people asked in regards to this question was like, well, what about this whole thing where Christians now are fasting, but they're not fasting with food. They're fasting with other stuff like social media or TV shows that they like or whatever, anything that they really care about or value. Christians are starting to fast from instead, instead of food. Sorry, I just got a text. Instead of food. So that I think is more complicated. And I think that's, well, that is arguable. Whether we should fast or not at all, I don't think is really arguable. We can say it's like not a cultural thing that we do in the way that society is now, but I don't see any valid reason for it not to be something that carries over from, you know, Greco-Roman time and way before into our time now. I don't see any valid reason for us to say, well, that doesn't cross the bridge from Jesus' time and before to ours because that's what happens with a lot of stuff is that there's a lot of stuff that they did like feet washing for instance that we don't do because culturally it's weird uh, it just it doesn't mesh I don't see fasting as one of those things the only argument that you do have with that is that it really isn't good for your health like depriving yourself of food it isn't good for you 
but depriving yourself of like sugar is good for you or caffeine is good for you or nicotine if you're a smoker whatever like there are ways of fasting that are definitely healthy for you but depriving yourself of all nourishment water food all that stuff for days at a time is not good for you it's not healthy so people make the argument well then you're not respecting the temple of god like you know what i mean i'm not gonna get into that though so back to fasting from like social media and tv shows and you know smoking for some people whatever it is i agree with that i don't think it's the same as fasting from actual food and water because fasting from social media you're going to go into like psychological withdrawal kind of where you know it's something that you really like it stimulates you you are addicted to it whether you want to admit that or not if you use it on a daily basis you are addicted to social media and I'm, i'll admit that any day of the week dude i'm addicted to my phone because uh, i do all this crap and then i do a bunch of like side projects and stuff and i own a website so i'm on my stuff all the time uh, if I had to not use my phone for like three days, I would lose my mind a little bit, but I would not like My body wouldn't start eating itself. It wouldn't go into a catabolic state. I wouldn't get super tired I wouldn't like possibly faint or pass out like there's there's just there's a difference between psychologically withdrawing from something and physically withdrawing from something or physically being deprived of something that you need to survive so I don't think fasting from social media or your TV show is going to put you on that like sort of I don't want to say near death because it's not but like closer to death spiritual plane does that make sense I hope that makes sense because it sounds a little bit crazy when I say it out loud but I hope you know what I mean however I will say this fasting from social media and TV shows and stuff like that I think that's really good still um, that's kind of like it's just, again, it's just gonna be different. You're gonna have a different experience, but I think depriving yourself of something you really like or that you're addicted to or whatever, the idea behind it for most Christians is that every time they want to get on Facebook, if they're fasting from social media, instead they're gonna sit down and they're gonna pray. So you're replacing whatever you're fasting from with time with God. In no way am I ever gonna tell somebody that's negative because it's not. But I'll also never say it. it's not the same as fasting from like food, from not allowing your body to eat. It's not the same. It's different. It's definitely still good. I'm a big supporter of fasting from social media and stuff because you're choosing to not do something that's arguably meaningless and you're replacing it with something that is ultimately meaningful. You get what I mean? So I think my personal opinion is that fasting is, it's still important. Um, I do struggle with the health side of fasting from food and water um, or just one or the other just because I know a lot about like nutrition and the way the body works because I was doing personal training for a while that it does kind of bug me uh, I don't think it's really what God wants but I do think it puts you in kind of this place I don't want to say higher I guess I messed up saying higher. I would say it just kind of puts you in like a different spiritual place when you're that deprived of something that your body needs you think differently, you process things differently. So I think that's interesting. I don't personally like to do that. I respect people who do. Some people take it too far and then I think they're kind of kooky, but I think there's a middle ground where it can be beneficial. But fasting from social media or smoking or sugar or, you know, you can still fast from food and have it be healthy, like the sugar thing or the caffeine thing or anything that, you know, trans fats or saturated fat, like you can do it in a healthy way and it's still food and then you're not only not being bad to your body but you're actually being really good to your body so there's ways to do that but the fasting from social media or you know the internet in general or video games or tv shows or whatever man that's good i hate that people say that that's negative that it's not real fasting it's not biblical fasting but it's it's still real fasting you're still fasting from something by definition and replacing it with something that is more meaningful that is always positive super positive you know what i mean i hope we're in agreement on that is all i'm saying all right well, i gotta go inside because i'm home and i'm sitting in a hot car it's like 100 degrees outside <sighs> uh, the next video is going to be on dressing appropriately what is dressing appropriately what does that even mean how do we dress appropriately how do we know if we're dressed inappropriately i'll be doing that video with the gracious and beautiful cat that's it
再见 ，show。